Welcome back to the Dustin Prospect Dynasty today. It's number 13, Rapid City versus number 15, Wisconsin. Let's go down to Jimmy before this thing kicks off. Hey, man, I heard they were going to do the blackout tonight, but they decided against it. Thought it was too close. Wisconsin's color, so you know what? It's blue ball out. Blue ball reminder. Make sure you click the blue link ball. in the pinned comment blue. to enter a name for a prospect in next season's recruiting pool. And stay tuned blue for Aaron and then flipping at the half for news on prospects submitted last season. All right, we had a few games finish early in the day, and we'll start with TJ Robinson taking an interception to the house to give Fargo up early on the Boilermakers. Eight seconds later, and Hames hits Preston Terrell for a 72-yard score to tie it up, and that's how this one will go, back and forth. Fargo would kick a field goal with 17 seconds left to tie this thing and send it to overtime. First OT, and Hames throws his fourth interception of the day to Max Kidd, and Fargo would pull out the dub as Deval Parker hit SpongeBob SquarePants. Did I read that? SpongeBob SquarePants for the winning touchdown. That kid's parents must absolutely hate him. Now out to number one Penn State at UCLA, where Heisman frontrunner Cole Spewick would get the Nittany Lions out in front quick on a 47-yard touchdown to Matt Peterson. These teams would battle as well. It was 17-17 game until Penn State took the lead on a field goal with 1.30 to go. UCLA would have a shot to send this thing to overtime, but miss the field goal with 38 seconds left, and the number one Nittany Lions escape. And we wanted to show you number four Texas A&M at Auburn, but uh, just enjoy this pick six as uh, the Aggies turn the Tigers into kittens, 41 to nothing. How about a game with a pulse? USC and Notre Dame is up next. We're picking this up late third with Notre Dame trailing, but scoring on this pass from Jones to Trey Marshall to put the Irish up three. The Trojans would answer on a 19-yard touchdown pass from Miller Moss to Hudson Wolf. Trojans back out in front, 24 to 21. A little over a minute left in the game now as Heisman hopeful Ben Jones scampers 22 yards for a touchdown. Irish lead 28 to 24 with 105 to play. Trojans get one last shot and on fourth down the pass is dropped. Notre Dame gets the victory 28 to 24. Okay, out to Rapid City, South Dakota where East Coast time is 10 p.m. Y'all ready for a late one? The offense comes out onto the field. Rapid City desperately hoping that Anthony McLaurin can start better than he usually does. They're gonna start with Schroeder on the ground first, though for five. Rep City, number one in scoring offense in the nation, averaging 52 a game, while Wisconsin averages 26. That's the way, McLaurin, Rolla, two guys hit the ground, waiting for McFly and he just overshoots him. Unfortunately, that's McLaurin's problem. Third and five here. Gonna go up top, this time he hits Jordan Gorey, the big 6-6 wide receiver for 23. First to 10. Give Schroeder drops for a yard. Second and nine. Now McLaurin keeps on the read. Cuts it back inside. He'll have eight yards. That'll bring up a third and one. Can they keep the drive alive? Snap. Schroeder. First down. Stegos. Lauren takes the snap. Looking. Oh, he wanted the tight end. It wasn't there. He said he's going to take off. He'll get a yard. Second down and nine. McLaurin drops. Throws to the tight end short. Lokalani, four yards. Of course, stay tuned for the halftime show later on for committing to flip it. Find out where your prospects went or if he's on flip watch. Third and five. Up the, oh, where is that going? McLaurin had Schroeder up the sideline, just threw it out of bounds. That will force Rapid City to attempt a field goal here. Of course, Garrett Evans has a powerful leg and that ball is no doubt, three to nothing, Rapid City. Last week, the defense played well. They'll look to maintain that momentum here. This is a give to the left side of the field. Jones down the sideline for 12 and a first. First and 10, Wisconsin. Deacon gives to Jones. Jones finds a hole up the left side, and the safety misses the tackle, and Jones is in a foot race to the 25-yard line, a 37-yard rush. First and 10, Deacon. Looking out to the sideline, Chase Chopper's the last guy to beat. Blasts him out at the five, but that's a 21-yard gain, and it's first and goal. Tell you what, Wisconsin is looking well-oiled. Deacon gives to Jones, Jones up the middle, stood up at the two. Check that at the one. Second and goal. Bell in motion, it is a jet sweep, and Bell has nobody near him. That is a Badger touchdown, and they strike quick. Seven to three, Wisconsin. Rapid City comes back out on offense. First to 10. Snaps away. McLaurin slant over the middle to McFly for seven. Mike, you're not going to like this news, man. Chase Chomper broke his collarbone. He's out for the season, man. That is horrible news for Rapid City. Good God, I cannot believe that. 
Mullet. Oh, McFly somehow catches it. It's breaking tackles. Down at the 35, a 47-yard gain on the heels of some horrible news from Jimmy about Chase Chopper. Chase, a freshman, will lose out on the rest of his season. Here comes Kevin Schroeder out to the side. Eight yards. A minute to go here in the first quarter. Second and two, Rapid City driving. Lauren, look at That is a dangerous throw, almost intercepted. Third down and two. Wisconsin showing blitz. Lauren rolling, going up top to almost picked again. C.J. Britt, two plays in a row. And Rapid City is forced to kick another field goal. Garrett Evans is good. Seven to six. Wisconsin still leads, 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. First and 10, Wisconsin. Give to Matt Jones. Tackle for a loss on the backfield. That is Kahai Bembry. 20 seconds to go here. Another give to Jones. He's going to go out to the left side of the field. Got the edge, and he's got the first after 18 yards. This may be the final play of the first quarter. Five seconds left here. Deacon gives to Kelly, and Kelly will have a decent pickup of five. As we head to the second quarter, with Wisconsin leading 7-6, to six, Jimmy... What does this team need to do to get it together? Chase Chopper, what a huge loss. Look, Mac, I love these night games, even more so because Concession's got these things called after dark dogs. What they do is they take some food coloring and the chili and all that's black. So the whole dog just looks like you're eating tar, man. Come out of there, I got black all in my teeth. You know Jimmy, what I'm that saying? has nothing to do with the game. Stop eating after dark dogs. I'll eat some more. Damn it, Jimmy. Second down and five now. Deacon. Another give. Matt Jones, first down. Rapid City with some great run D last week. So far this week, does not look so good. He can bark it out. Snaps it. Gonna get sacked in the backfield. A six yard loss. Cooper Tua smacking him around. Jones picks up three on second down. It's third down and 13. Deacon out to the sideline to Cradell for a first down. Rapid City struggling on defense. Give Jones. This time, no gain. Deacon Hill throws it away on second down. It's third and 10. Blitz is on. Kevin Robinson coming. Can't get there. Ball's tipped at the line, and they'll hold. So the kicker will trot out. An attempt what is about a 45-yarder. That, the kick is up, and it is good. 10-6. to six. Wisconsin up by four. Four minutes to go here in the second. Of course, if you're a fan of Rapid City or you want to talk more college football, you can join the Rapid City Discord. Link in the description. Steps away. McLaurin keeps on the read option. Cutting back inside. Gets walloped for seven. Second and three. Play action. McLaurin. He and he is dropped. Didn't have time to breathe. Lawrence Johnson. Third and 11. Lauren. Snap. Look it. Look it. Oh, hates it all. Can't get away from the sack. Goes down, and it's fourth and 21. I hate to say it, but it feels like the Rapid City offense needs the defense to do something to give them a spark. First and 10 here. Deacon, short throw to Pew Pew. Breaks the tackle. He's up past the 50. Wisconsin in business. First and 10. If Jones, counter to the right side. Gets smacked down after a yard. Little over two minutes here to go. Second and nine. Deacon takes the snap. Looking. Oh, and that should have been intercepted. Cody White batted it down. Should have picked it off. This crowd getting up. They know they need to stop here. Third and nine. Snaps away. Deacon looking, looking. Out to the wide open is Bell. Skyler Bell for 28. What a deflator. Jones drops for one yard. Second and nine. Deacon over the middle. Dangerous. Almost picked. I think Rapid City knows they've got to bring extra guys if they want a chance at any kind of positive play on defense. Tua's coming, but he can't get there. Hill's got time. Gets sacked, though. Rapid City will call timeout. Darrell Bullock with the sack. Wisconsin will line up for a field goal here. About a 37, 38-yard attempt. Is that? The kick is up, and the kick is good. Wisconsin pushes the lead to a touchdown now. Minute 16, can Rapid City get anything going before the half here? Lauren takes the snap, looking, 
wanted the running back. He's not going to be able to get him, and they'll probably get on this quickly. Lawrence Johnson with another sack. Snap is away. Lauren again, feeling the heat, throws it out to McFly, who makes a diving catch. We'll have to get on it. First and 10, snaps away. This is a roll. McLaurin looking. Nothing. He's going to have to take off with this thing, and he will up the sideline. We'll have another first. 40 seconds left. Snap is away. McLaurin over the middle to McFly. Has a wide open. Oh, gets absolutely closed line for 22. 36 seconds. Snap. Again to McFly over the middle. Touchdown, Rapid City. 28 yards to the house. The quickness. Maybe Anthony woke up. We're tied up with 30 seconds to the half. So what will Wisconsin do here? Will they try for more points or will they simply run it and try to get this into the half? Deacon's actually looking to throw this and he'll find Cradell over the middle who will have a first. And now Wisconsin will go quickly. Out to the sideline to Cradell again. Absolutely gets pile drived. 14 seconds, Rep City trying to keep Wisconsin out of field goal range at least here. Already at midfield, and that is going to put them in field goal range. 11 seconds. First and 10. Over the middle, batted down by Jared West. What a play. Six seconds, and they'll trot the kicker out. This is about a 47-yarder, 48-yarder. Kick is up, and it is wide left. Not a chance. Boy, we can thank Jared West for that one. So two seconds left until the half. You got to think Rep 2 will probably run this ball. Regroup. Give to the Heisman hopeful up the middle. Kevin Schroeder for eight. And we'll head to the half. Tied up at 13. Boy, we got a good one. But now let's go to come in and flip it and see where the prospects around the nation are going. And who's flipping? Welcome to Committing and Flipping. Let's take a look at some new commits from this week and some other news from guys around the nation. Let's start with Rapid City as they land a four-star wide receiver out of Stephenville, Texas. DeAndre Thompson is 6'2", 224 with some decent speed. He looks like he'll be more of a possession guy. Around the nation, defensive end Devontae Spear commits to Wake Forest, and Oklahoma has a big week, bringing in five guys, headlined by running back Treshawn Drake and tight end Bill Dragonslayer. A crystal ball Drake last week and also crystal balled quarterback Hawk Sampson to the Gators, and that's where he went. Florida has their signal caller. Now 137 guys committed to schools this week. Check the tracker for the rest. My three crystal balls of the week are as follows, with defensive end Kenny Guerrero to Tennessee, wide receiver John Garcia to Kentucky, and wide receiver Chip Shades to Florida to give newly committed Hawk Sampson a weapon. 117 new crystal balls were added to the tracker this week, and 18 guys were put on flip watch. Let's highlight two of them, shall we? Five-star linebacker Bo D'Angelo verbal to NC State, but Rapid City is whispering in his ear, and they swing the talented fella. He'll visit NC State on an OV next, and so will linebacker Javon Smith. NC State will attempt to flip him from Georgia who everyone thought had him absolutely locked. Big moves happening. Now, we're getting later in the cycle, and some guys are looking for nil deals to sweeten the pot before making the leap. 18 of them are on the tracker, and we'll highlight two linebackers. Dylan Sharkey has the SEC fighting over him with Georgia leading the pack, and Davis Federico has a visit with Boston College coming up, but currently Pitt leads for him. But some money sway these guys away. Now, as we get deeper into the cycle, you'll notice a lot more guys on the tracker will be in a three-way race. These are absolute battles for these prospects and it will most likely go to the wire for them. Now let's check movement in the polls and the Heisman race. Rapid City continues to trail Iowa in the Big Ten West while Penn State leads the East. The Segos stay at number 13 in the coaches poll with the first CFP dropping next week. Texas's win over Oklahoma sees them jump Rapid City while the Sooners fall to 16th from 8th. Cole Spewick out of Penn State remains the front runner for the Heisman while Rapid City's Kevin Schroeder moves up to number five in the odds. Oklahoma takes over the top spot in the recruiting rankings with a slew of commits this week headlined by running back Treshawn Drake and tight end Bill Dragonslayer. Lastly, the Tar Pit moves up from number nine to number six on toughest places to play, finally with a rating of A+. A special thank you now to our members of the channel, the Rapid City producers and boosters. It's your support that enables the high quality of this dynasty, including voice actors and software. If you'd like to become a member on the channel, click the join button below the video or the link in the description. And hey, join the prospect list in the pinned comment for next season. And as always, thank you. Got ourselves a good one here. Tied up at 13, second half starts. Gotta think that Wisconsin will Give this to Matt Jones quite a bit here in the second half. That ball's out to Skylar Bell, who has been dominating another 22. 
Rapid City having to put Gary Mumphrey back at safety right now. First to 10, fake give. Out wide. Jared West misses the tackle, and it's second and inches. Wisconsin picking up right where they left off. Already driving. Quick throw to the sideline to the tight end again. First down. Man zone, it doesn't matter. This Rep City defense is struggling. The blitz is on this time, and there's just no pressure. Stick route. Bell continues to dominate. Immediately, Wisconsin in the red zone. First and 10, another fake game. This time it's thrown out of the back of the end zone. Second and 10, Deacon Hill checking at the line here. Gonna throw it short to Cradell for five. Third and five. Rapid City needs a stop. Deacon looking, come back, bat it down by Tyrell Preston. I hate to be greedy, but pick it off, young man. Fourth and five, kickers out here, 30 yard attempts. Snap. The kick is pushing right. Oh, and it is barely through the uprights. Wisconsin leads 16 to 13. First to 10, Rapid City. Play action, McLaurin doesn't like it, gonna take off. Jukes a man out of his shoes and has eight. Second down and two. Schroeder cannot get it. What's that? The give and Schroeder is met in the backfield. He'll lose yards. The Stegos I have to punt. Feels like Rep City's in trouble. First and 10, Wisconsin. Deacon Hill over the middle. Oh, somehow is caught by Steve Scott. Man, is playing with fire. First and 10, if Jones up the middle. He's got a long way in front of him without anybody there. Inside the 20. 11 rushes for 120 yards. This team's got to wake up. First and 10, another give. Matt Jones smashed by Cody White. Second and eight. If Kelly trying to get the edge, will not. Sorry, that was Tally. Rapid City must get off the field here. They cannot afford to give up seven. Blitz is on, Bearman trying to get through a block. He does, but he's too late. And that is Cradell to the one. What a throw. This ball is at the six inch line. And they're throwing it and he's wide open. Touchdown Badgers. It is a 10 point game as we approach the fourth and Rapid City's in trouble. First to 10, snaps away. Oh, McLaurin's got Charlie Hall, and if he doesn't have to come back to the ball at six, but he did, instead it's second and one. That McLaurin keeps on the read. A little shimmy, six. Rapid City come back. Third quarter ticking away. Schroeder's got the blocks, he's up the sideline. Schroeder, oh, with a nasty juke. Down to the 20. First to 10, snaps away. McLaurin. Looking, oh, he's got a man. That's Charlie Hall. Did he drop that? He dropped it. 20 seconds to go here in the third. That McLaurin rolling to his left. He's gonna take off. McLaurin's got a lot of room to run. One man to beat and he can't beat him. Down to the one. Rapid City going quickly here to try to get another playoff before the quarter ends. As it ticks away now, down to 10. Give Schroeder. Cannot get off of him, and that's going to take us to the fourth with Rapid City trailing 23 to 13 on the doorstep. Jimmy, what you got for us, man? Wisconsin. Will they even got cheese? I do love cheese. Especially on my hot dog. Man, I love cheese. Jimmy? Jimmy, wake up, man. Oh, sorry, Mike. You know, you start thinking about cheese, and it just can't stop. Yeah, I do love cheese, too. So there we go. Second and goal. Six minutes to go in this game. Rapid City down 10. Lauren keeps on the read. Touchdown, Rapid City. And they'll cut the lead to three with a whole quarter left to go. Can they come back? The defense comes out onto the field. Deacon audibly give Matt Jones sweeping left. Looking for the edge. He'll fall after eight. Second and two. Does the defense have a stop in him? This. It's a huge play from the safety. Matt Jones getting dropped for no gain. Heads up play by Cody White. There we go, third and two. Deacon, look it. Just throwing it out of bounds and Rapid City holds. Look at it back. Five minutes to go. Rapid City's offense back on the field. Alani Neal gets a carry up the middle. Alani Neal for eight. Second and two. Florent keeps on the read. He's got blockers. Makes a man miss, has another seven. First to 10, Schroeder, carry, 
Breaks a tackle. Schroeder for a hard four. Second down and six, of course, after the game. Stay tuned for Jimmy's final thoughts. It looks like Wisconsin is showing blitz here. Snaps away. McLaurin's quick slant can't get it to his receiver. It'll be third and six. Big play here. Rep City knows their kicker's got the leg to probably drill this. That McLaurin. Over the middle, Cloud McFly first down. Oh, he fumbles the ball and Walker recovers. Wisconsin is going to dodge a bullet. And the first turnover of the game is a huge one. Cloud McFly puts it on the ground. And that might be the play that we look back on and say that's where it was lost. Rep City with terrible luck today. First and 10. Wisconsin. Deacon Hill gets sacked, and that'll help a little bit. Michael McCormick coming on the blitz himself a QB sandwich. No baloney here. Second and 16. Deacon running this clock down. Blitz is coming. He has to throw it quick and he finds Skylar Bell up the sideline. You gotta be kidding me. Wide open as Tyler Preston gets beat and there's a face mask at the end of it to make it even worse. We're under three minutes now. First and goal, Wisconsin. What a horrible sequence of events. Wisconsin now Gonna surely run this clock down a little. Snaps away. Matt Jones breaking a tackle. Are you kidding me? Down at the one. Oh, false start, Wisconsin. Hey, Mike, Brendan Bear, man. He pulled his hammy jumping that blitz. They're gonna hold him out the rest of the game. Another huge blow for this team. Second and goal. It's another give. Matt Jones breaking tackles, and he's into the end zone for what was probably the dagger. And the Badgers are gonna pull off a minor upset here. They were not favored to win this, 30 to 20. So does Rapid City have a miracle on them? They have all three timeouts, but they're gonna have to score fast. Charlie Hall, it's held up, no flags. Laps away. McLaurin almost intercepted. Minute and a half to go, snap. McLaurin going deep to the 6-6, guys, almost intercepted again. This is it, fourth and 10, laps away. McLaurin, look at sideline, he's got Kobe Woods, that's a first down. That's the way, McLaurin, doesn't have anybody. Gonna try to take a shot to Charlie Hall, wow, he somehow completes it, and Charlie gets out at the 36. Minute 18 to go, Rapid City at the 31. That's the way, McLaurin, gonna take off. Gonna have himself 10 and get out at the 19. First to 10, snap is away. McLaurin looking low, that's Kobe Woods, has the catch. It's tackled short of the sticks, though, so they'll have to go fast if they want to keep the timeouts. That's exactly what they'll do. Run into the line. We're under a minute now. Snaps away. Florin dancing around. Going to take off. Out of bounds. 49 seconds. First down. Snaps away. Florin slant misses Cam Chaos, who was wide open. Can't miss that throw. Second and goal. That. Florin. Didn't have his first read. He's got to just throw it away. Barely gets it off. McLaurin looks like he might be hurt. Oh, boy. McLaurin was hurt on the play. Crowder comes in. Crowder over the middle. Touchdown, Cloud McFly. A small dose of redemption for the fumble earlier. Rapid City will cut it to three with 40 seconds left. Rapid City will attempt the onside kick. It's booted. It's bouncing around, and it goes out of bounds. Hey, Mike, Anthony McLaurin dislocated his finger. They're going to hold him out the rest of this game, ma'am. So now Wisconsin, because of the horrible onside kick, will have it first and 10. The chance to just wrap this thing up. That's a give to the right side. Jones dragged down, timeout, Rapid City. Second and nine. Give. Jones drop, timeout, Rapid City again. Now, what do you do here if you're Wisconsin? Do you run this ball and keep the clock moving? I think you do. They do to the left side. He'll be tackled short, fourth and inches. Wisconsin will try to push the lead to six to force Rapid City to get a touchdown with less than 25 seconds. Snap, the kick is up, and it is good. Wisconsin up by six. Lonnie Neal will bring this out of the end zone. He'll cut back left. Alani Neal up the left sideline. Makes a bad miss. Alani Neal to the 30, 20, 10. Are you kidding me? Touchdown, Rapid City. 93 yards to the house, and the improbable just happened.
Evans. No way. My God. No way. Garrett Evans. The extra point is good. And Rapid City somehow is winning this game with 13 seconds to go. 13 seconds. This ain't over. We've seen how fast Wisconsin can get into field goal range. That's all they need to do here. Hill's taken off. Up the right sideline, he'll be tackled down. Six seconds to go. Second down and three. Aiken sacked. Timeout Badgers. And now they have no choice but to throw one up for all the marbles. Brendan Bearman back in the game. He's coming on a blitz. Not gonna get there, the ball's up in the air. And it's intercepted by Michael McCormick. He'll stay on his feet somehow. And they will end the game on the craziest turn of events I may have ever seen here for Rapid City. They're gonna win this game and improve the six and one while Wisconsin falls to four and two. Rapid City had no business winning this game and a quick cut from the middle of the field to the left side. And Elani Neal took it to the house and made up for Cloud McFly's horrible fumble. Player of the game is Anthony McLaurin. I don't know how, he didn't have that great of a game, but no turnovers for him, so that's great. Uh, look, if you didn't like that one, I don't know what to tell you. Drop a like on the video, comment, ask Jimmy a question, he might answer it in the next video. And of course, stay tuned for Jimmy's final thoughts coming up right now, Jimmy. Final thoughts. Where are we backing the hot dog truck up to next week? That's what I'm talking about. Hey Jimmy, you bringing that Billy to the game next week? Uh, you know, I think that guy, that guy over there knows. Make sure the wiener mobile is gassed up. Yeah, he knows. He just won't tell me, though. Because I stole his hot dogs earlier. Go Stegos. <laughs>